everyone. I welcome you all to the video tutorial on Lifecycle Assessment with Open LCA Software. This is the first part of this video tutorial. As you all know, Open LCA is an open source and freely downloadable software for sustainability and life cycle assessment. Open LCA software plays in the same league as commercial life cycle assessment software such as Sima Pro, Gabby, or Umberto. But Open LCA also offers distinct differences. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download open LCA software from internet and install it in your computer. In the latter part of this video lesson, I'm going to show you how to download free databases and add the databases into open LCA software, as well as how to add impact assessment methods into open LCA software. To search for Open LCA software, open a Google search and type Open LCA. Then we can go to Open LCA website. So this is the Open LCA website. And we can see uh, the different settings and you can select the download option. In the download option, uh, you have to enter your credentials like first name, last name, email address, uh, organization, city and country. Uh, this is just for uh, information purpose uh, otherwise there's no uh, payments to be done it's totally free so uh, i uh, have entered my credentials like this if you uh, wish to obtain more notifications or activities about open LCA, you can tick that otherwise you can proceed by clicking on submit button then you will be forwarded to the download page and there you can find several options to download the OpenLCA software. Uh, there are two options. Uh, first one is you can download the zip folder for OpenLCA software. Uh, in that case, you can use the software um, without uh, installing it, you can use several versions of OpenLCA within the uh, extracted zip folder. Uh, the other option is you can select the uh, download installer. So if you select that, you have to install uh, the OpenLCA software. And if you want to change the version, you have to uh, uninstall the previous version and install the newer version. So in this case, we will select the installer uh, option. I will download the installer setup. We can install the software using the already downloaded folder. So we click on the setup file that we have downloaded. Then first we have to select the language option as English and then uh, we can click next and then uh, we have to select the uh, license agreement so uh, click on that and then um, we can go for the current user option as recommended and install so it's a really straightforward installation uh, you can install it uh, directly uh, within a very short time uh, the open LCA setup will be installed so after installation you can uh, start uh, open LCA uh, setup 
and uh, it will be uh, started like this. So we can see that uh, in the welcome screen, uh, there are several options available. And uh, there we have, uh, uh, we have help options and uh, learning materials are there. Uh, you can uh, obtain any uh, uh, manuals or case studies uh, related to uh, LCA. I mean, uh, life cycle assessment conducted using OpenLCA and uh, the new databases, uh, how to uh, move them. So there, there are several options like this. So next I'm going to show you uh, how to input uh, a new database. Uh, if we want to uh, create our own database uh, using our own lifecycle assessment data, otherwise uh, the collected inventory data by our own, uh, can be inserted to a database so that is a manual database you have to uh, go for a right click there in the navigation bar and start a new database and uh, we can select it as local and um, then uh, database content as uh, our requirement So you can see that the new database is there with uh, several options. So you can see uh, the background data. Uh, there is uh, nothing. So we have to insert the background data by our own. So this is the uh, way to uh, insert a new database for our own data. Then I'm going to show you how to uh, import uh, an um, existing database uh, from uh, a certain uh, database provider. You know that uh, there are several uh, database providers uh, for uh, life cycle assessments. Uh, there are commercial uh, the databases as well as there are a free databases. So in open LCA software, uh, I mean, compatible to open LCA software, there are free lifecycle assessment databases also available so you can obtain them as well we can uh, use the commercial ones also first we have to download the uh, database files for that we have to go for open lca nexus website so uh, you can uh, uh, go to open lca nexus website uh, using the same uh, website through the website that we downloaded the installation files so otherwise you can just um, uh, search for open lca nexus and uh, here is the open lca nexus and you can select the databases option so you can see that there are several free databases as well as for purchase databases are available uh, so uh, for purchase databases there are uh, known ones like uh, eco invent agri footprint like that and so in this uh, first case uh, we will um, download one free database and check whether how to import it into open lca so um, uh, here i uh, go for a browse button uh, so that is the environmental footprints uh, database the first one and so i can um, uh, download the database file using uh, the below uh, as well as I, I can download the associated documents uh, for further reference uh, about this date these data sets inside this database so uh, i download uh, by uh, inputting a username and password so uh, in here we can insert the previously entered email and uh, the password right a certain password that you use for that email then uh, so in this case we have to verify our email address so uh, a link has been sent to my um, uh, email so here i log into my um, email and uh, here i have received the uh, link by open lca i uh, verify the uh, email address then i will be navigated to uh, the download um, option then uh, i have uh, several options available to download uh, 
uh, among them uh, the previously uh, weaved free databases and commercial ones are available so i will select uh, them so here i will download uh, both the data set or database uh, file as well as the impact assessment a file as well right so uh, in this case uh, i can directly download the two then i will show you how to import them into open lc so i have downloaded like this the two files uh, one is for the uh, database a free database that is um, environmental footprints then uh, the next one is uh, eco invent impact assessment methods right then I can uh, uh, go to my open LCA software and right click in the navigation bar so I can select the other option then I can select the downloaded uh, database file then uh, you can see that the downloaded database file is imported here. And we can see the data. Uh, there are many data available here. But uh, if we check the impact assessment, uh, it's uh, not there. So in Open LCA, we have to separately import the uh, uh, impact assessment method. Then I will again right click and uh, insert the impact assessment uh, file that is also inserted as a, uh, a database file. And then uh, if I double click on that, I can see there are many um, impact assessment methods that we use in uh, life cycle assessment is available inside. So this is how we uh, import database files and impact assessment method files downloaded from OpenLC Nexus website and inserted to OpenLC software. Before concluding the first part of this tutorial, I would like to uh, briefly um, discuss about the uh, concepts of life cycle assessments. First, uh, what is a life cycle? we have already discussed in our lectures about what is a life cycle so uh, a product life cycle has five phases so uh, the raw material phase and the manufacturing phase can be integrated together and uh, said as production phase so there are, we have inputs and outputs with um, life cycle inventory coming from all these phases so this figure illustrates uh, how a product life cycle can be indicated through graphical form and then in uh, any uh, LCA software we have to follow the standard methodology of life cycle assessment that follows ISO 14040 to 44 uh, framework and there, there are four steps first one is goal and scope definition second one is inventory analysis and data collection the third one is impact assessment and the last is interpretation so in the interpretation stage uh, we can uh, interpret the results into product development product improvement um, uh, strategic planning of the process or the product and public policy making and other applications like um, financial and economic aspects also so in the second part of this tutorial we will uh, discuss how to conduct a life cycle assessment uh, using open lca software we will take some examples and follow this uh, standard uh, life cycle assessment methodology uh, using open lca software we will find um, a certain environmental impacts uh, for a certain case study uh, this is the end of the first part of this tutorial so uh, i hope that you will uh, use this uh, video tutorial to uh, get familiar with open lca software first uh, download and install it in your computers and then uh, try to be familiar with the software framework software uh, environment uh, then um, after your initial practicing with the software we can uh, discuss the second part uh, on how to 
conduct a life cycle assessment using open lca software so uh, this is the end of the first part and i'll see you again with the second part have a nice day and goodbye